What's good everyone, today we're going to talk about some of the major things that Netflix left out of Swamp Kings. Now if you don't know about Swamp Kings, Swamp Kings is the popular new docuseries on the Florida Gators National Championship runs with Urban Meyer, where they won two national championships during that span, while also having 41 players that got arrested. Even though I was quite disappointed in all the things they left out of the documentary, I want to start this video out by saying how this was still one of the best docuseries I have ever seen, and I definitely recommend it to any football fans that haven't seen it yet. Yes, I know this is a football documentary, but since it was Netflix Untold, I thought they were going to go more into detail of all the off-the-field issues that were happening during this time, as the reason why I was originally excited to watch this documentary was because there was literally 41 players on the 2008 Florida Gators National Championship team that got arrested during or after their time at Florida. In 41, that's literally like half their roster and they didn't mention that once in the whole docuseries. The whole time I was watching the documentary, I was just wondering when they were going to get into Aaron Hernandez stories just to finish all the episodes with them mentioning Aaron Hernandez once, and it was just Tim Tebow saying a story on how they were at a restaurant or bar, and some of the locals were saying racist things to Aaron Hernandez, so Aaron Hernandez proceeded to beat them up. If you watch the Aaron Hernandez documentary on Netflix, which is another great documentary that I recommend, Aaron Hernandez literally killed someone during his time at the University of Florida and got away with it. Like, how is that not mentioned in Swamp Kings? Aaron Hernandez was also one of the best tight ends in the NFL, where he also killed a man and won a Super Bowl in the same year, and then went to jail for life for murder, and sadly passed away in jail, and when his brain got tested after death, it was revealed that he had the worst case of CT ever examined. I mean, who else has killed someone and won a college national championship in the next year, and also killed someone and won a Super Bowl in the same year? I was also disappointed to see Cam Newton not mentioned once in the documentary, as he got kicked out of Florida for stealing a laptop, and he later became a Heisman Trophy winner, a national champion, and an NFL MVP. I mean, how do you have an NFL MVP in your team that doesn't get mentioned once? Or when they did actually mention players or have stories on them, they didn't tell the real untold story like how Chris Rainey got arrested for sending a message to his girlfriend saying, time to die. They also mentioned Percy Harvin a lot because he was the best player on the team. However, they never mentioned how Percy Harvin literally choked out his wide receiver coach at Florida. I mean, don't you think that would have been an interesting story to add? Or also when one of the best players, Carlos Dunlap, got arrested with a DUI right before the SEC championship game, was also never mentioned. I also would have really liked to hear from the Pouncey Twins and Joe Hayden as they all became huge names in the NFL. Now I know I just sounded like I was hating on a documentary, but honestly I really did enjoy this docuseries. I just really thought it really did have potential to be one of the greatest sports documentaries of all time. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of the Swamp Kings documentary and what you guys think the biggest thing they left out was. Thank you for watching and make sure y'all go like and subscribe as this is a new and upcoming channel.